Hope you had a great weekend. Yeah. I'm um, Woody. That's raving. Hello. How was the weekend rave? The weekend was great. I almost yeah. adopted like 14 kittens, but <laughs> I, I stayed strong. Yeah. Did you get all your uh, holiday stuff set up? I mean, it's today the house is being cleaned. Mm. So the house will be cleaned, and then I and will then you start it. Yeah. All right. You can't start in a dirty house. No. no. Brett Gorey. Good morning. Good morning to you. How was your weekend? Weekend was good. Almost adopted 14 dogs. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, yeah, because Greg and Ravi are at like a, a pet a adoption, super event. adoption event. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it was really cool. Yeah, it was super fun. And then yesterday, I hosted uh, a brunch for my Ooh. fellow gays, and I made the cliche dish. Quiche. Quiche. Uh, oh. <laughs> Quiche and mimosa. <laughs> like Lorraine? Uh, I think it was. because the spinach? Uh, spinach in there? Oh, you know what? I did not put spinach, but okay, I did put not ham. Lorraine. Yeah. Uh, ham. And then in one, I did mushrooms and asparagus. Ooh. Okay. And it turned out bomb. No. Nice. It was so good. Wow, it's so gay. It was. And mimosas. <laughs> and and ruled. Mimosas. Nature's yeah. cream and mimosas. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it was yeah. good. Uh, good morning, Menace. Good morning, Woody. How was your weekend? Awesome. That was that Bravo Con. Lucky. It was okay. so much fun. I saw yeah. our legal best friend, Jerry O'Connell, yeah. and nice. uh, Jerry still laughing about Seabass's appearance on Dr. Phil. Two years later. <laughs> Two years later, he still <laughs> That's probably, loves it. Talking about. That's probably his only frame of reference. No, no, no. No, he, was, he loves cart narcs. Yeah, well, oh, no, yeah. no, no. But we're, we're talking about the Woody show and uh, other things and like Bravo Con and stuff like that. But, um, I don't know where he's like, he said, I'm still laughing about Sebastian's <laughs> appearance right, on Carter. Because right. for folks who don't yeah. recall, Dr. Phil went on Jerry's show, The Talk, to promote the Cardinarks episode, <laughs> yeah. not knowing that Jerry knew me, knew blah, blah, right. blah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, Menace. That's not the only thing we talked about. Were you again drunk on white wine at BravoCon? I was not. Uh, I did go to the after party, which was awesome. I saw the DeBros from... Um, Terry DeBro, you might know from the TV show Botched. Nope. No. Um, sure do. <laughs> yeah, Greg knows. Yeah, okay, he rules. Good. The DeBros rule. Their the office magicians. listens to the show, so shout out to them. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it was it was shout super out. fun, man. It was it was how a good many time. dudes were there? Uh, I would say it was ninety five percent women and then five percent right. dudes. And how many of the five percent were gay? Uh, I would say 4%. <laughs> 4%. 4. 4. Uh, no, 4 were not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, four were not. it was a really good time and a lot of, you know, ish talking back and forth. It's basically like going to go see um, a live podcast, basically. Yeah. So like all these panels and stuff like that. So okay. it was super fun. Yeah. Uh, it was a good time. Like right before we went on the air this morning. Greg was uh, something about what's what's the guy's name? Uh, Tom the, the Sandoval. One, the, yeah, the okay. Sandoval. I, Sandoval. Yeah, I like, mm-hmm. hate that I know who he is. <laughs> that, it's and, Menace's fault. If it wasn't it for is. Menace, I wouldn't oh, know who he is. Or no one talked about what was happening with that guy. But see, this is the thing. Don't you find, in a weird way, it to be very sad and pathetic that anybody knows who this guy is? <laughs> anybody who knows who yeah. any of these people are? Somebody that's on television, they know who they are. Mm, what? Just, but like, it's the, the weird. Why they're on television, <laughs> right? <laughs> Exactly. Uh-huh. It's like, oh, well, what? They're on cops. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. They're hiding under the baby pool. <laughs> That's not an accomplishment. Like, yeah. Yeah, and, but you know all the stuff about the guy who was hiding under the baby pool on cops. You know, like, you know about his relationship and his kids and everything. Like, it's well, that, like, it's the same type of person to me. The extent of what I know about this guy is that he cheated on some chick. That's literally all yeah. I know. And, uh, and how reason... it was a chick is yeah. beyond me. <laughs> yeah. he, he looks yeah. like the my lottery dream house guy. It looks like he should be at your brunch. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yes, should I should have invited him. Greg. He's gay yeah. pirate. Right. Don't he worry. He's the gay pirate. His now. merch yeah. booth wasn't popping. Because, dude, it was all <laughs> merch. His, all his merch was all who bedazzled Greg. <laughs> but what what does it say? Like, does it have a his Tom name? Tom because he has restaurants. It's oh. called Tom Tom. And it's all bedazzled. What's uh, the, the, can I? I'm I'm asking you a legitimately <laughs> yes sincere question. Uh huh. What is the appeal of all this housewives mm-hmm. Bravo stuff? Like it's what? Like to you pers- love- to you personally? To you, you personally? To you personally? Oh, like, to the, the, the drama- to that you go to Bravo Con to the point where you, like I understand like Ravi went to a Buffy sure. the Vampire Slayer convention. Yeah. She was so into the show and she can explain the different reasons that she mm-hmm. liked the show. For you, other than it's an event happening and whatever, like it's fun. What, what's the appeal of all these? Shows and these types of people, the thousand pound sisters, the housewives, the housewives, like all that. All like, that stuff. honestly, what's the appeal? It's just, it's fun what does it for drama. You? This fun drama. But I thought watch. you were a person who doesn't like drama. You sit here all the time talking about how you don't like drama. I, I don't want to be a part of it, but it's fun to watch. He's a voyeur of drama. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Voyeur. 
Voyeur. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like, yeah, yeah I'll go voyeur. with that. Voyeur. Which is what? Yeah. Which is gossip? Which is chick yeah. stuff? Which is yeah. menace? Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's true. I, I mean, I feel it. like this all tracks for menace as we know oh, him as yeah. a person. Yeah. Sure, but my point is, I wanted to know, like, what's the appeal of? Like, why that would anybody sit down well, and watch? for those people? Like, why get so like time. invested to like mm. want to know or be interested to know what's happening with any of these people? Woody, I think you would like botched. Because they yeah. show before and after, it's surgery stuff. It's like weird yeah, body stuff. Yeah, it's not stuff. like any drama. Yeah, you would at like all. botched. It, yeah, it's just like somebody had some messed up plastic surgery, yeah. and then it's fascinating yeah. on how they fix it. There's so many things I want to watch that I yeah. I don't have time you to watch. Just can't add botched. that stuff. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. There's five I'm, different Yellowstones now. I'm not saying, <laughs> yeah, right? Oh my god, exactly. Uh -huh. I'm not saying I would never check out an episode of Botched. Yeah, you, but there's mm -hmm. one thing to watch something, and there's another thing to like really care about the people who are on there, like the. To know, you know the doctor. Or yeah. to buy to botched see, merch. Or the fact that they're on or TV. Or buy bedazzled yeah. botched merch. There's no yeah. botched merch. There should yeah. be. Like, to like, oh, wow, this is a miracle worker. This person can take this person who's completely jacked up and make it look like nothing ever yeah. happened. Like, it's like watching uh, someone who's, you know, really good at construction or someone who's really mm -hmm. good at, like, you know, building whatever it is. Like, that's that's a, that's a talent. Art or whatever. You know, that is yeah. that is a legitimate talent. Someone flipping a table and screaming at somebody else and you go, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Vegas, and I'm going to go sit and watch this person talk about flipping tables and whatever. Like, I, that's the part well, I have a hard time. Well, tree Center men are very lovely. Why does anybody, <laughs> why does, like, how do people get so in, engaged in this? Oh, the screaming and yeah. every time he's, somebody walked out onto the uh, floor. It was it was a madhouse. You would think it was you're at a concert. But these are all special needs people, right? I mean, like, no. yeah, I always think the, like, maybe I would want to go to BravoCon just because of the chicks, <laughs> right. but they're all insufferable chicks, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, you should definitely go next year, Seabass. Seabass, how was uh, your weekend? Uh, it was really low key, but I walked outside with a group of people at I don't know five thirty yesterday. We were all pissed <laughs> because yeah. it was dark outside. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. boy. God. What the hell is this? So we just got mm -hmm. together with a group of people to walk outside? And get well, mad. We went inside at like 3.30, and we all walked outside at like 5.30. I and mean, what was this group? Like, what were you doing? A bunch of like uh, comedian actors types that I know oh, okay. uh, locally here. And we were just hanging out, chilling. Yeah. And we, we all walked out and said, man, this sucks. It does. I, mean, uh, I, I well, you're agree all actors with you. and stuff, mm -hmm. so you should just pretend like it doesn't. Yeah, like just act uh, like it's like yeah, yeah. Just, and maybe you can like, trick yourself. <laughs> so Funny. depressing. Yeah, so de we're all we just, like, this is depressing. We want, like let's move to the southern hemisphere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this this blows. Why you know all yeah. the stuff we talked about the show? Why haven't they fixed yeah. this yet? Right. Stupid daylight yeah. saving time. Yeah, I agree. Was, like we mentioned, it's one of those things where everybody seems to be on the same page. The majority of people, overwhelming majority of people, seem to say, "Oh well, why are we even doing this anymore?" Right. It'd be a really easy thing. It could be one conversation they yeah, smack the gavel today smack the gavel on the table and then it's just done we don't have to do this anymore apparently neil degrasse tyson oh, yeah. i don't know like dude the, the science and stuff yeah. he <laughs> says that <laughs> that we would have less days if we did that is that true wait i looked up yeah, i don't, I don't think know we'd have eventually maybe stories. we'll have less days well then we'd be younger cool but 24 nice. hours is 24 hours yeah, i don't understand it still like takes 365.25 right. To... right yeah um, Still one trip see, around yeah, the sun, I right? I mean, oh, speaking about being less younger, dude, going back to our friend Jerry O'Connell, that guy is drinking like stem cells or something because, <laughs> like, he is like he's yeah. made a deal with the devil. He looks way younger than we first saw in the past couple times. That's all people in Hollywood. They reverse age yeah, for the most do. part. Dude. They, they drink babies' <laughs> spinal yeah. fluid. I, right? yeah. I guess so. They bathe in liquid like, gold. He looks yeah. way younger. It's I'm crazy. Thinking, like, uh, you know, a lot of the actors, you know, they're mm -hmm. not doing anything, right? Unless they're like some small budget, like something got a waiver from uh, yeah. from the union to still work. Right, you right. Do this little, these little projects. What is your job right now? Like your job is to just work, work out, out and look good. Be on yeah. vacation. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm saying like your job is to like, you know, keep yourself healthy. Work yeah. Like if you if that was your whole focus, like you had nothing good. else to do yeah. with your day. But you know what? There is no finding time to work mm -hmm. out in the day. That's all you have. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Kids are teenagers is, now, so they're not up early. Yeah. You're yeah. not worrying about right. bills. Right. Or the grind. Well, I mean, um, most of the actors who are in SAG are. You know, this yeah. it's like the majority of people who are sure, not the, working right now. I'm talking about like the ones that we know of, like the big yeah. name ones. Right. Yeah. yeah. Of course they're looking good. What else do they have to do? Well, I'll also tell you going back to BravoCon and all these real housewives, dude, Ozempic is the talk of the town. They <laughs> what else are do they like, have to do? Dude. Yeah. Because I saw them the year before and now 
dude, Ozempic is rampant. And they're all open about it, too. Yeah. They're like half the size. It's insane. They were tiny to begin with. I know. Right. Okay. But if you're if you're still eating a certain way and whatever, mm-hmm. yeah, you yeah. will you will lose a bunch of weight. Now, I can attest, as someone who's still on Wagovi, that you can still gain weight. Yeah, you can fight it. <laughs> yeah, you, like, <laughs> you can battle against it. Yeah, because, yeah you it's can like... fight it. You know, like the people that get uh, the, the weight loss surgery, like sure. gastric bypass or whatever, yeah. you can eat through that. Yep. You can, it can Power happen. Yeah. You can eat through it. Sammy, how was your weekend? It was great. Yeah? Crocheting I'm, and... Yes, I'm fully decorated for Christmas, and I'm so close to being done with my Christmas blanket. It's ridiculous. It will be finished very soon. <laughs> I think I only have, like, six hours left on it. So. Did you, like, go Rip. out and, like, do anything? Did you get out of your house at all and yeah. socialize at all? I went Christmas shopping. I got okay. a new tree. All and, right. yeah, I was, I was out. Okay. There were Dude. so many people out. Oh, my gosh. Shopping. Getting their Christmas every, yeah. stuff. Yes. Lit. Yeah, it. it's yeah. crazy out Sa- there right now. Sammy, tell them about <laughs> tell them about your mice. <laughs> There's like, dude. So we were talking in the office the other day and about decorating stuff. And I guess there's like these mice that's been handed handed down in her family. And it's so bizarre, oh, it's, and oh, weird. Not so not real mice. Like so, Christmas mice. Well, these yeah, they're they they're called Anna Lee, which are these little. Um, they're mice, or there's some people, and they're decorated for all different holidays. So we have these Thanksgiving mice that are just like pilgrims <laughs> that are huge. I mean, how these big ones are, they? are big, this... and they're expensive. But how big? They're... Like, like, well, like a lot of size. them are small, like, like, okay, like knickknacky hand, type, hand six inches small. Okay. Yeah. But I, we have these huge so pilgrim weird. ones for Thanksgiving that my grandma had. So now they're like passed down, and we call them heirloom mice, and they're like s- these giant stuffed mice. Where do you put them? <laughs> on the hutch, like in oh. the dining room area. But it, they're ridiculous. Like, Greg, how do you think that looks? <laughs> no, they, yeah. they look, they look kind of like... Greg, where would that go in your house? <laughs> that, that might go in the garbage. trash compactor. In, in the garbage. No, you so can these eat them like... on those stools that Mario brought home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> these yeah, are not even like kind of, you garage. know... It's not my jam. Sugar Plum Fairy. These are like... The cartoon <laughs> sort of like comic strip type mice. Dude, looks they're like, weird and creepy. Here's remember, that, remember that 80s movie, like uh, American look. Tale? They kind of look like American look, Tail. Here, zo- zoom in on this picture right here. <laughs> it looks like something you buy in Pigeon Forge. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Dolly Oh, my they're, God. They're, <laughs> those are things that nightmares are made of. They're a thing, though, and they're actually oh, wow. really Dang. expensive. Oh, yeah. Here's, here's one in a wheelchair for 50 bucks. Oh, wow. Yours are big. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what does these mice have to do with Thanksgiving? I, I did just get a little one. It's a banking one, and it has little um, <laughs> candy canes on the apron, and it has little, like, mittens on. You are mentally, like, 90 years old. Yeah, she is an old lady. Yeah. She really is. Trapped in this, like, 30-woman, whatever, 30-year-old Late 30s, woman. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Body. They, they remind me of my grandma because she had them all over the house and they're ridiculous. But now when I see them, I can't help but just laugh and they make me happy. Um, so, okay, yeah. whatever makes you happy. Hey, so Bravo weird, Con dude. makes men as happy. So do different you have things for like, different people. those are your grandma's? Those they, giant ones? They were. I mean, now they're mine. Okay. Do you yeah. dress them or you change the clothes out? No, no. That's how they come. Um, you just buy different ones per holiday you buy and the, change them out. The 2023 Pilgrim Mouse family. <laughs> oh. Regularly $114 <laughs> on sale for $96.90. Whoa. Nice. That's a steal. Nice. For some felt yeah. mi- mice with like a little horn of plenty and yeah. a pumpkin. Do they have 4th of July mice? <laughs> oh, let's take yes, they have them for every sure holiday. You can get St. Patrick's Day. You can get everything. Wow. 877 <laughs> Woody. Oh, they have seven 4th of July mice. mice. Ooh. Yeah, they do. I could you tuck them up. into a wreath. <laughs>